Uh, okay, let's a uh, little bit talk about uh, basic uh, number sense that we uh, start with the language. Primary school teacher does not specialize in in areas. Primary school teacher is a primary school teacher, right? Again, we again we never start with symbols. It's about how numbers appear in the nature around the child. This is one sun, and you can look at it and you can say one. These are stars. This is not one. This is many. So the concept of one goes against the concept of many. The tree is one or many? One. These flowers are many. Creator is one. And creations are many. So let's take one more. And it becomes two. Uh, let's go how to appears in uh, in the life around the child. I have two ears. I have two legs. These are two birds. So the way to demonstrate itself in the nature around the child and she can recognize visually. This is two legs, two eyes, two cycles, uh, two ears of the donkey, right? Then when the concept of two is uh, understood, then we move on. These are three colors, three wings, three animals. But uh, point to, uh, one point important here is uh, we shouldn't start with the uh, uh, untouchable and unt intangible things. Color is a, is a concept which the child uh, can't touch, <coughs> right? Yeah. It's a sort of property. So do not start with the, with the uh, abstract concept. Start with the concrete objects. Likewise, likewise, four appears in the nature, four directions, four legs, uh, four wheels. And, uh, and we will go up to five like this where children can visually recognize. You might not be aware of this word. This is called subitizing. Uh, we humans do it. Even animals do it. Monkeys do it. Fish do it. And they can recognize numbers up to an extent and they recognize between uh, many and few uh, uh, very clearly there's lots of research on it that's how we go on uh, unfortunately uh, reading and writing maths uh, i didn't find it in the radar of uh, many uh, uh, almost none of the developing country as uh, children are uh, learning how to read math and how to write maths it seems as if we have mentally resigned that we will not be producing uh, uh, persons who will uh, tomorrow write maths books. This is uh, a little disappointing, but this should change. We know we have a maths anxiety, but maths is a fun. Maths is all done with the crafts and the patterns and, uh, and uh, arts. When we uh, unconsciously, unintentionally start maths with symbols, we actually create a disconnect with maths. Maths should always start with some doing, some play. Lots of geometry and the concept of space we can teach by folding, by cutting concept of volumes, uh, the ratios is all visually understood uh, concepts and then we can see the pattern, how we can represent the pattern and symbols. Numbers themselves uh, uh, can be added. Uh, they should start making visual sense to us uh, if we, ha we have developed number sense in the child. Our, mostly our children do not have number sense. They don't understand if it is written 321 how big this three is from the two in that three to one. One million second, if we count one per second, takes 12 days, but one billion takes 30 years and one trillion takes 30,000 years. So this kind of order of magnitude sense, we do not create in our children because we teach symbols, we don't teach meanings. These connections and possibilities and how much, uh, uh, how we design our networks, it all can be through string art, and uh, through uh, simple lines and colors. Children really love to do maths, provided uh, we let them play with it. 
see this is how professor george hart teaching maths all with uh, with things and with papers we can't look around in the nature in the universe is in within ourselves if we don't know math math is all around it's in our religion it's in our history it is in our daily routines and prayers we can't make sense of uh, historical events if we are disconnected with maths our children can't tell uh, how come the prophet made a 180 degree uh, turn when the qibla was changed because they don't have a sense of maths they don't have a sense of uh, space they don't know where things were located so they they just crammed it and read it for all these uh, historical events and uh, learning about our heroes or spending our daily life we have to uh, teach maths in the way it should be taught our national symbols they are all mathematically created uh, things in a specific proportion uh, and we can play with them and if we sync them with those events it, it will make even more sense we should give them a historical context of the maths where it came from how how it appears in the nature around us how we started making a sense of the time uh, from the movement of the celestial objects and we took 360 from the pattern we observed in three, after 360 days almost uh, the the season pattern starts uh, repeating and that's how we learned to agriculture and every 30 years about a moon starts and we call starting it a month and you know it's amazing that our clock isn't it a miniaturized version of the uh, solar system itself the earth moving around around the sun this is a beauty that we should appreciate and pass on this is maths and now it makes sense why when the creator says that we we gave you uh, these things among many other uh, objectives of light and photons ashamas uh, adya wal kamara nuran we gave sun its own light and uh, and moon the reflected light so that you can compute years and measure among among other things so this is a highly amusing subject but it shouldn't start with symbols then the children would love it we have to uh, kill this math anxiety and turn it into a fun and enjoyment thank you very much